dispatches from Ukraine, provided by Forbes Ukraine's editorial team. As Russia's attack on Ukraine continues and the war rages on, reliable sources of information are critical. Forbes Ukraine's reporters gather information and provide updates on the situation. Wednesday, May 18. Day 84. By Darina Antonia Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has submitted a draft bill to prolong martial law in Ukraine until the end of summer. Ukraine imposed martial law on February 24 and later extended it until May 25. Zelensky proposes extending martial law for another 90 days. A 21-year-old Russian soldier pleaded guilty in Kyiv court during the first war crime trial of the conflict. Russian tank commander Vadim Shysamurin was accused of shooting a 62-year-old man on a bicycle from the window of a car in the northeastern section of the Sumy region in late February. About 28, 300 Russian troops have been killed in Ukraine since the start of the invasion, according to Ukraine's armed forces. At least 229 Ukrainian children have been killed and 424 children have been wounded since the start of Russia's full-scale invasion. Russia's war against Ukraine has killed at least 3, 752 civilians and wounded at least 4, 062 since February 24. The actual figures are undoubtedly considerably higher. More people are coming back to Ukraine than leaving, according to the Ukrainian State Border Guard Service. More than 37,000 people entered Ukraine in the last 24 hours, including 33,000 Ukrainians, while nearly 31,000 people left the country. Over 6 million people have left Ukraine since the beginning of the war, according to the UN. The Ukrainian Sea of Azov is under threat of complete extinction due to the Russian bombardment of the Azov steel steel plant. The attacks on the plant could lead to the leak of tens of thousands of tons of hydrogen sulfide that can completely kill the flora and fauna of the sea, according to Mariupol City Council. Russia launched seven attacks on Sumy and Chernihiv region from its territory on Wednesday. Russians used heavy machine guns, automatic grenade launchers, as well as rocket and tube artillery to attack the border areas. Mariupol. Russia said that 694 Ukrainian troops have surrendered at the Azov steel steel plant in Mariupol in the past day, bringing the total number to nearly 1,000. 